This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Start a motor renewal. Remove the battery cover located in the floor of the driver's footwell. Undo the nut securing the terminal clamp and lift off and move the negative lead to one side. Place a cloth over the negative terminal to avoid accidental reconnection. Pull the bonnet release lever located by the passenger door sill. Lift the bonnet safety catch and raise the bonnet. Unclip the bonnet prop and use it to secure the bonnet in the open position. Note that there are two positions. Before proceeding, check that the handbrake is fully applied. Chock the rear wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle using a jack. Support it on axle stands. Lower the vehicle onto the axle stands and remove the jack. Remove the fixings that secure the under tray to the vehicle. The under tray can now be removed from under the vehicle. To improve access, disconnect the air pipe and mass airflow sensor connector and then remove the air filter housing. Note the location of the starter motor in the engine compartment. Undo the two nuts and disconnect the wiring connectors from the starter motor solenoid and where fitted, recover the washers under the nuts. Disconnect the wiring plug from the engine oil level and temperature sensor. Then undo the mounting bolts and move the clutch slave cylinder to one side. There's no need to disconnect the fluid pipe from the cylinder. Undo the three starter motor retaining bolts. And maneuver the starter motor from place. Position the new starter motor into place ensuring that the locating dowels are correctly positioned. Also make sure that any wiring or hose brackets are in place under the bolt heads as noted prior to removal. Refit the three starter motor mounting bolt and tighten the mounting bolts. Reconnect the wiring connectors to the starter motor solenoid. Refit the clutch slave cylinder Then reconnect the oil level and temperature sensor Refit the air filter housing and reconnect the air pipe and mass air flow sensor connector Place the under tray under the vehicle and position it in line with the fixings Refit and tighten the fixings to secure the under tray to the vehicle. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. The chocks can now be removed from the rear wheels. Remove the cloth and reconnect the negative terminal clamp, tightening the retaining nut. Replace the battery cover.